Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Biology with Zhang Xuan. So today we will do Biology Paper 1. This is the February March 0610 Paper 1 2. Um, I just also have it today. And also if you guys came to this video and want to check out uh, February March Paper 22, the link is below and you can always click the button on top if you want to watch it. So let's do, let's do this paper. Okay, which will show substances removed by excretion. So it's access and requirement, yes. Uh, access and requirement. Undigested food, no. Waste product metabolism, yes. So the answer is C. Okay, which two parts are included in the scientific name of an organism? So it's example like Homo sapiens. So one is genus, one is species. So the answer is B. Okay, how many jointed legs does an insect have? So uh, this will be three pairs because insect will always have six legs. So we go we go to the I A M C where insects will have six legs. Uh, are, they have eight legs. Myriapods they have ten legs. It's more than uh forty legs. Okay, and the photomicrograph shows a cell from a type of aquatic plant. Which label parts indicate that this is a plant cell? So would be this is a cell wall. This is a chloroplast. So the answer is donkey. Okay. The diagram shows a magnified image of a cell. The magnification is times 360. Line LM represents the width of the image. And line uh, LM is 18 mm long in this diagram. So I was the actual width. So I use I over A times M. So I know my magnification is times 360. And I want to, and this is my uh, 18 mm. So I would divide it, of course, 18 divided by 360. I will be getting 0 0.05. So I will get 0 0.05 answers B. Okay, which factor would decrease the rate of diffusion of oxygen into the cell? Hmm, okay. This nope, this will increase. Nope, increase also. This will be increased. Donkey. Okay. Which molecule across crosses a partially permeable membrane during osmosis? So osmosis only works. In water, so the answer is donkey. Okay, the diagram shows the movement of particles across a membrane. The arrow shows the direction of movement. Which diagram shows active transport? So it's from low to high. So the answer is A. And they also need energy from respiration. Okay, which substance used to test the food for vitamin C? DCPIP B. Number 10, what are the enzymes made of? Enzymes are made of protein. Okay. What remains at the end of an enzyme controlled reaction? Which is only enzymes and products. Okay. Okay, the plant is placed in the dark until all of its stored starch is used up. The plant is placed in light which black paper over part of a one green leaf. Okay, after eight hours, the leaf is tested for starch. Okay, remember that when it's not covered, there'll be photosynthesis happening. So, mm, the most suitable one, nope, definitely not. Definitely not all. Mm, not this. So, the answer would be B. Okay. The diagram shows the cross section of the leaf, which will shows the correct label. Okay, this is the cuticle. This is the palisade. This is the spongy. So the answer will be A. Okay, the diagram shows the different types of human teeth. Which teeth are used to grinding food? So grinding food will be premolars and molars. So the answer would be A. This is a premolar. This is a molar. Okay, which row shows the correct name? So the parts of the large and small intestine. So large intestine would be called as the colon. Yep. So colon. Hmm, colon. This will both be rejected. And it's also a rectum inside there. 
duodenum ileum B. Duodenum is part of small intestine. Okay. The diagram shows the apparatus used in the experiment. The apparatus was kept at 35 degrees. What is likely to be present in the water surrounding the membrane after 45 minutes? Amino acids and simple sugars. Okay. Because 35 degrees, they will break down and then starch will also be simple sugars. There will also be simple sugars, protein, protein, and become amino acids. Okay, the arrow shows the movement of substances from the soil into a root hair cell. Which substances move from the soil into the root hair cell? Mm, this will be water and mineral ions. Okay. By which processes does water escape from the stomata in the leaf? This would be diffusion. Okay. Because it's a water, it's a form of water vapor. So this is just a trick. Tell you this is a water vapor. Therefore, it only can be diffused out. Okay, which rule about the circulatory system is correct? So the part that pumps blood would be the heart, yes. Part with valves, yes. Heart also have valves, veins also have valves. So the answer is A. Okay, which structure may become blocked in the coronary heart disease? So it's always coronary artery. So the answer is A. What, which is defined as a disease-causing organism? This would be a pathogen. Okay, it comes. It, this comes from a, the definition of a pathogenic disease or transmissible disease. So only a pathogen pathogen can be transmitted. Okay, which type substances turn the indicator from clear to cloudy? So this is a yeast. Therefore, it's anaerobic respiration. Therefore, it produces carbon dioxide. So the answer would be A. Okay, the diagram, sh the apparatus shown was used to investigate aerobic respiration in seeds. It's placed in the dark room. All environmental conditions were kept constant. What will happen in the apparatus? So, let's have a look in this diagram. Okay, the gas is taken in the seeds. This is a kind of like a process of germination a bit. So, um, definitely will be oxygen. Gas absorbed, carbon dioxide. Okay, the direction of the movement of the colored liquid. Mm, this will go towards the seat. Mm, yeah, this will go towards the seat. So the answer is C. Okay, why is yeast used in bread making? It's definitely for anaerobic respiration to produce carbon dioxide. You don't use alcohol for bread making, you're not making alcohol, you're making bread. So you, in order the bread to rise, it needs to have carbon dioxide to escape out. Okay, in the diagram, which label identifies the urethra? Urethra, this is the ureter. This is the 25, this is the ureter. This is the urethra. Okay. The diagram shows a reflex arc. Which label identifies the motor neuron? So the motor neuron is usually after it passes through the brain. So the answer would be B. Okay, what is the role of insulin? It is usually to detect the decrease of blood glucose concentration. Okay. The diagram shows a seedling growing inside a dark box. Okay, which type of responsive direction of growth and root in the shoot inside the box? So there's no light, therefore these two cannot be happening. Cannot be happening. Neither this. So the answer is A. Okay, which rule shows that why only some infections can be successfully treated with antibiotics. So antibiotics only kill bacteria and not resistant bacteria and not viruses. So the answer is C. Okay. The diagram shows part of a flower, which is the what is the part label X? So this is a stigma. So the answer is D. Okay. Which statement about the hormones involved in a human puberty is correct? So estrogen cause body hair nope. Testosterone cause the menstrual cycle? Nope. Testosterone cause the hips to get wider in milk? Nope. So the answer is only B. Okay. The diagram shows a human reproductive system. In which structure does fertilization occur? Mm, 30, 32 looks like B. A. Okay. This is the OV duct. Okay. 
Alright, in mice, the allele for black hair is dominant to the allele for brown hair, okay? So which proportion of offspring will have brown hair if a cross is made between a homozygous black mouse and the heterozygous black mouse? So I'll use a Punet text, text test cross, BB and BB. So I will cross it BB, BB. Big B, big B, big B, small B. So the answer for this one to get brown hair would be 0%. Okay. Which rule about variation is correct? Okay, let's have a look. So... Nope. This is supposed to be genetic. Nope, this is continuous. Mm, nope, this is discontinuous. So the answer is only donkey. Okay. Okay, humans have kept sheep for many centuries because they supply us with wool. Okay, this is the flow chart. And then sheep providing the most wool identified. Next generation brawn. And also providing most wool is identified. Which process is described by this flow chart? Selective breeding because I want to have more wool, so therefore I need to select the one that contains the most, uh, the sheep with most wool, and I will selectively breed them. Okay, the numbers in the diagram shows the amount of energy transferred through part of an ecosystem. So, okay, loss of energy here, loss of energy of here, herbivores to carnivores. Mm, there will be should be more energy loss here. So. Hmm. Definitely not ad adding more. I definitely cannot use sunlight one. This doesn't make sense at all. Hmm. Doesn't make sense. So the answer is B. Okay. Okay. How many trophic levels are shown in this food web? So I will count the most. One, two, three, four. There should be about... Four trophic levels. Yeah, see, because here is one, two, three, four. So it's the same. Also, can be four. One. This is only three only. I want to count the uh, um, the line which has the most trophic levels. Okay. The diagram shows the carbon cycle. Okay, which labor process uh processes represent re respiration? Yep. Two and four. Okay. So the answer is C. Okay, vitamin A deficiency is a big health problem in some parts of the world and can cause problems such as blindness. Rice can genetically modify to enable people to make vitamin A when they eat it. Okay, 150 grams of the rice provides 60% of the adult recommended daily intake of vitamin A. How much rice does an adult need to get 100% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin A. So I will use the ratio method. So 150 will be 60. If it's going to be 100, then it would be about mm, 250. Answer is C. Okay, which feature of bacteria makes them useful in genetic modification? Nope, they can make complex molecule. Nope, they don't cause disease. They can cause, nope, it doesn't cause decomposition. Yes, it can cause to it to reproduce rapidly. Okay. All right, that's all for paper one. I will link the paper to the description below and hope you guys uh, are doing well in your exams. Good luck. See you then.